morning sun comes over the hillside and a full kilowatt of solar panels on the roof start to do their stuff. Here is the current state of the Solar Sonic mobile studio behind me. You can see a lot of technology for one 26 foot RV. Up above the prototype of a studio cabinet soon to be installed, customized, but it's just the prototype right now. Custom sunroof with plexiglass in light blue up front cockpit, the console in between the seats, always covered with stuff, projects in motion, walkie-talkies, screwdriver sets to fix laptops, spare cameras, spare cables and adapters, spare webcams. But on the main studio, if we're going to be broadcasting a live electronic music video show, the heart and soul would be the MacBook Pro. Followed closely by the MacBook. This is more for the live electronic music. This is more for the DJing sets. And then this MacBook Pro would be in charge of the Wirecast upload. Selecting between camera angles, text messages, be superimposed on top of the broadcast logos and if we wanted to our own little commercials and bumpers just like a real radio station television station whatever so up above we're also trying out these Mackie HR 824 monitors a little big for the inside of the studio but big enough that we wouldn't necessarily need a subwoofer underneath. We're not sure which way we're going to go yet. Our main controller, I'd have to say, for Ableton Live software is the Akai APC40, a new entry, which is certainly holding its own with the Ableton Live software. Our main controller for the Tractor DJ Studio is a super portable fader box, battery powered and can fit in a backpack augmented by a Korg pad control but for Ableton Live these are our modulators for tracks and soft synths but rhythmically of course always our main input has been the Roland Hansonic HPD 15 If there was room, I'd, I'd be using two of these, but we can get by with one. And for keyboards, the mini Oxygen 8 setup seems to be enough for those times we need to lay down bass lines. And of course, the Studio Desk. Studio Desk is also just a prototype. It's going to end up being a good foot longer on this side and a little bit more ergonomic. in the center and the right side. So we can make room for a second performer when it's time to broadcast with special guests. Of course, Solar Sonic would be nothing without the speakers and the skies and a couple LED lights. And then the doorway, the subwoofer. So it's a serious live broadcasting machine. So that's a whole lot of technology crammed into a small space. And then the video side of things, that's perhaps the most confounding because camera angles in a confined space like this are challenging and lighting could perhaps be the biggest challenge. The sun comes up, the sun comes down. Of course, the skylight's great for ventilation. Not so great for video shots. A lot of modifications yet to be done to be able to just day to day throw down a live electronic music show from interesting locations such as today, Malibu Beach on a Sunday. 